Hello everyone, uh, in this session we will discuss about engineering economics. Economics we are using in different streams and all the areas but as we know in our construction field we should also learn about economics. So from this session we will discuss about economics and with its goal then we will discuss about what is engineering economics and then flaw of economics and in the last segment we will discuss about replacement and maintenance analysis of equipments or we can say the apparatus. So let us start with economics. What is economics? Economics is a science that deals with the production and the consumption of goods and service and the distribution and the rendering of the human welfare. So, economics is a science or we can say the tool. They analyze the, all the things, how to produce, how we can use the raw materials, how we can use the alternative source of the material, how we can distribute that and how we can provide the goods and service to the customer and we can provide the equal distribution for the stable market. So this is the economic. We can also say that economics is about the choice and it is the heart of all decision making. Individuals, business and the government sector also are faced with the choice in the situation where the resources are scarce. For example, as we know, we are using the cement mass in our construction field. And as we know, for the cement production, we require the limestone. And limestone is a limited raw material if we are using only cement mass. So there will be scarcity of the raw material for the cement production. So we have to go for the alternative sources and we have the different alternative sources like cement as a supplementary materials and other ozonic materials for the cement production. So the, this is the science how to use the raw materials, how we can alternative the sources, how we can distribute the material, how we can provide the demand to the market. So this is the economics which are the object high level of employment if the over uh, industries are replaced by the labors by the robots what will be happen there will be sudden flow down there will be less there will be major effect on the employment second thing price stability we are observing the prices of the diesel and petrol. Unstability of the goods and service. There will be effect on the economic. Third one is efficiency. Fourth one is equitable distribution of income. And fifth one is growth. So if the, we are doing the, all the decision, the science of the economics, the main goals are we can consider that employment, price stability, efficiency, equal income distribution and growth. Now let us discuss about few important terminology that we are using in economics. First one is microeconomics and second one is macronomics. What about microeconomics? 
Microeconomics is the study of the particular individual firm, individual household, individual prices, individual wages, individual incomes, individual industries and individual commodities. So this is all about the microeconomics. What about the macronomics? Macronomics is study related to the national level at the large stage of work. It is a study of the national economic as whole. Macronomics deal with the not individual quantities such as the income, not individual prices, not wages and not individual the industries but with the price level not individual output but with the national outputs with the national income so there is a difference between microeconomics and macronomics i hope you are clear about the economics microeconomics macronomics and now we will discuss about engineering economics so what about engineering economics Engineering economics uses the theory of economics and applied them to engineering decision. As we know, there is a particular relationship between the science and engineering. Engineering is application of science. And we have to add the one more important point, which is the economics. We are using science. We are applying the particular in practice. We are doing engineering but we have to add one more important point which is the engineering economics so engineering economics is the theory of the economics and applied them to engineering decision for example government is constructing a mega metro stations and metro rails in Ahmedabad region and this is the large project currently going on in our city so in that case, government is observing the many alternative options for that particular transportation of that. And they selected particular metro with the particular object. They are observing the output from that project. They are investing the large amount of the finance. Are you getting my point? They are investing the large amount of the finance to construct the metro in particular Gujarat state. They are observing that they will get the output from this project with the different other options. So this decision we can get from the engineering economics. So, it is the discipline concerned with the economic aspect of the engineering. The engineering economics is concerned with the formulation, estimation, evaluation of the economic outcomes of the alternative that are available to accomplish a defined purpose. First of all, in engineering we are observing, we are surveying, we are analysis, we are designing, we are implementing. We have different alternative options and we are selecting the particular option with the help of the engineering economics. Hope you are clear about the engineering economics. Now let us move to the flow of economics. As you can see on your slide, there are the mainly two important participants with businesses and households and we can also add one important terminology one important participant government so business who is buying resources household who is selling resources businesses who is selling products and household who is buying products and you can see in the flow on your slide, the cost is moving business to resource market and to the household and household to product market and return again to the business. What about the government? Government is collecting the taxes from the business, from the household and he is paying and he is providing the 
goods and services to business and households. Hope you are clear about the flow of the economics. Now let us move to replacement and maintenance analysis. As we know, in our construction field and production area, we are using the different types of the instrument and equipments for the production of the any material, production of the any goods, or we can say the in the construction field. So in that case, the equipments and machinery require the particular maintenance and they have the particular certain life. So if we are doing the periodically maintenance, so they will be work with smoothly. If we are not focusing on maintenance and we are not doing the periodical maintenance, so there will be chances of the sudden breakdown of the machinery of the or equipment. Clear? So they require the particular maintenance and they have the certain particular type of the life period. So if we analyze the how, when we have to replace the equipment, when we have to maintain that equipment and the machinery. So we in the in, at the initial stages we are requiring the particular periodical maintenance. So we can consider the preventive maintenance. There are the two types of the maintenance. First one is preventive maintenance and the second one is breakdown maintenance. What about preventive maintenance? Preventive maintenance we can say that periodically or regularly maintenance we are doing for the maintenance. For example, we are maintaining our car at every year. So this we can say that preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance we are doing to prevent the sudden breakdown of the equipment of the machinery. And the second thing is breakdown maintenance due to the after the certain life of the equipment or the misuses of the machinery or equipment or the heavy loaded have been given for the production or any work to that equipment. So there may be chances of the sudden breakdown. So there will be required to repair that instrument of the machinery. So we can consider it the breakdown maintenance. So this maintenance required for the maintenance for the machinery and the equipments. So we have to analyze that the how much boosting we are giving for the maintenance of the particular machinery. There may be chances of the obsolescence of the machinery or equipment due to the changes of the technology. There may be required the high cost of the total maintenance like the preventive and breakdown. So better than you have to replace that equipment after the certain duration. So we have to analyze the maintenance that you are doing like preventive, breakdown, total posting. So after the analyzing, you can able to analyze that there will be requirement of the replacement of the equipment of the machinery or maintenance of the equipment or machinery. Hope you are clear about the replacement and the maintenance analysis of machinery and equipment. Thank you for watching.